Morning. If you watched last week's vlog, you'll know that we left you in Berska and we'd been a bit offside and towpath trading wasn't great. Well, we're still in Berska as you can see, but today it's time to move on. And today we're heading back to our hometown of Lee. It's early in the morning and it's way before I normally wake up. But the reason for this is that it's quite a long trip today. We've got about 17 miles uh, of canal to navigate, uh, eight locks, three swing bridges, one lift bridge. So it's gonna be quite an intense day. Uh, and we need to get a move on. What we don't want is to be caught behind other boats. Um, that's just gonna delay it We've uh, checked it out and we're looking at about eight hours cruising today, which is a heck of a lot more than I normally do. So, yeah, it's, it's gonna be intense, but it should be good. The weather's gonna be good and we should see some nice things along the way. So, uh, I've got some engine checks to do and then uh, maybe a coffee and then we'll get going. Come on then. Some of the more eagle-eyed viewers amongst you may have noticed that the quality's just improved. Not necessarily the quality of the content, that will always just be me babbling on. But the picture quality has improved, and there's a reason for that. Yay, we've got our camera back. It's finally been repaired. It's been sent back to where we bought it and they've sent it off and it's ended up going to Sony and Sony uh, found the fault and had to put a whole new uh, card in it, a whole new, complete new innards basically, it's a brand new camera internally, uh, but it means that we can now go back to recording in 4K um, and get much better quality pictures even if the vlogs aren't really that good <laughs> you may have also noticed that we've got a few extra microphones in the past couple of videos we've started using some radio mics um, so if you've watched any of those vlogs uh, drop us a comment down below and let us know what you think of the quality of the sound on them um, so it's a bit of an experiment that so we'll, we'll see how we go as you probably noticed, we're also using this. So we've got the uh, Canon EOS M50. Um, I used to do a lot of photography and I've kind of found the passion again. There's so many beautiful things to see along the canal. It's, it's a shame that I've not been able to take some photos for memory, you know. Um, I love taking photos of the wildlife, the scenery, um, so that camera is going to enable me to do that, but as a bit of a Brucey bonus, it also records in 4K video, so uh, hopefully that will give us a little bit of uh, extra shots that we can put in and hopefully make the videos a little bit more interesting for you guys. If there's anything that you'd want to see in our videos, or don't want to see in our videos, again, drop it down in the comments box below. Because, you know, we want to hear from you. Um, we enjoy making these videos, but if it's if you don't enjoy watching them, then, you know, we, we need to do something about it. So, yeah, drop us a comment below.
uh, it's been quite a pleasant cruise. We've passed one boat. Um, very, very quiet, and that surprises me. It's horsefly season, though. And boy, are they out in force. Got the uh, mozzie repellent on. Well, that just doesn't seem for work. They don't seem for bothered with the fact that you've got that on. They're still getting bit to death. Oh, I hate the things. Absolutely hate the things. It's the one thing that puts me off cruising at this time of year. Just all the, the horse flies. Uh, but apart from that, we can't complain. Just a quick one, pointy finger there is a boat called Ambush and it's a fuel boat um, and you can normally find him around this area which is uh, Crook on the Leeds Liverpool and he cruises up and down this part of the Leeds Liverpool canal and uh, the fuel's a really good price at the moment, they do gas and all the other usual stuff, well do gas if anybody can get any gas good old colour but yeah so if you're passing up here and you see these guys either here or moving around and you need anything flag them down great service great guys give them a shout Well, these cottages are absolutely beautiful shadowed by the mill right in the centre of Wigan I wonder what they would have been I wonder who would have lived here always makes me wonder but they are beautiful keeps chasing us and there's nobody in it. It keeps just barking at the canoe. Yeah. Shadow, it's tied up to us. I don't know. Morning guys. So we made it to Plank Lane last night and today's Saturday and we should be trading. As you can see, I'm not outside of the boat, I'm inside of the boat. Do you ever get the feeling that things are going against you and something's trying to tell you something? Well, let's have a look. Look at the window. Yeah. It's absolutely throwing it down. It is absolutely horrendous out there today. So, as you can imagine, we're not trading. And the worst part of it is that tomorrow is going to be 
pretty much the same again only I think we've got thunderstorms forecast so yeah we had a bit of time out when we was in Liverpool last weekend we was ill and we couldn't trade and there wasn't really anybody about and we come to a good spot like this and now it's raining so yeah this is now three weekends where we've not been able to set up and <laughs> what can you do anyway people have been ordering online if you haven't already been on there check us out it's www.cruisingcrafts.co.uk and go and check out what we've got on there but people have been ordering so uh, I'm going to spend the rest of today making up some orders let's see what the weather's like tomorrow Well, morning again. The weather has been absolutely horrendous. It hasn't stopped raining since we pretty much arrived here. So we haven't been able to film anything because we've done nothing but stay inside the boat. And I've just been catching up with all the leather orders that's been coming in. Um, so it's been useful for that, but not been able to get any footage. And to give you some idea of how much rain it's put down where we are here, just take a look inside the canoe. Now I'm not sure if that's actually coming out on camera, but there is a heck of a lot of water in that canoe. And we've got to get that out, obviously. Now what I normally use is this piece of kit. Which is a battery powered bilge pump. Picked it up off Amazon, probably a little over a tenner. And it works really, really well. It works off uh, two batteries, two D batteries, flick a switch on the top and it works. You can do oil, diesel, water, the likes. It just doesn't have the flow rate that we're going to need to get rid of all this water out of the canoe. So we're going to the big boy. So that's today's little job. Use that, shouldn't take too long minute or two that water will be empty let's get on with it and there we go this is not going to take long at all <laughs> 